If this is your first time to the channel, consider subscribing, press the bell icon and never miss an update. Hey guys, so I have not shot a Shaolin video for some time because these pins which are part of the clutch just like to jump away. So it is really difficult to ensure that this doesn't happen. Um, so three of the pins decided to jump. So what I have done now is I have decided to go a bit ingenious. So it is around 2.2 mm and this is what I have bought. So anyways, uh, and this is around 2.1 mm which is pretty similar uh, and the best part is this would actually work. All I need to do is just cut pieces which are as long as this and use three of the original ones I have and then use the uh, other three which I make right now. So let's get to that. A few seconds later we have four pins that can be now installed. So some engine with nitty. Now let's go and install the clutch. So today was the single most hectic day that I've had in the last couple of months since lockdown. So I washed the entire car porch, I washed all the vehicles, then I also washed the rest of the um, you know courtyard. So we have some fixtures on the other side so that was also washed. Um, and I also arranged everything properly so that big stash of silences um, I actually need to find a better way to keep them um, so it has one proton exhaust it has one Suzuki Shogun silencer it has an RX Z4 speed silencer and an RX 100 silencer so these I need to you know keep them in a certain way somewhere so that it doesn't rust and also it starts you know looking aesthetic so that is the point um, so what we are trying to do today is we are trying to um, finish the work on the Shaolin um, basically the engine doesn't have a lot of work to be done now so all I need to do is I need to put the engine in here, um, install those locking pins that we built and then see if I can get a compatible bolt that can be used as a drain bolt then we will try to start it today. So that is the plan on the Shaolin. Um, apart from that the Zen had some parts that arrived today. So this mirror is a big problem so I actually ordered a new one I also ordered locks for both the front doors only one came and then I ordered sun visors um, for this plus um, door stoppers miscellaneous stuff basically um, other than that the other body kit for the RXZ the one that I'm planning to build in red is almost body work is complete I have to just do a bit of sanding on the tank um, and make sure it's straight and not wavy um, so that is almost done so another thing is I have actually um, cleaned this mess to an extent though it is not a you know really visible but if you move everything out you can see everything is boxed well um, things that i don't need in the near future are taped well so the first box that you see here has the um, spares mostly for the rx 135 big board that we are going to build and the other box also has the same it has some body panels etc so the 
plan is to you know utilize this little fixture to create some more storage right now it is little shaky we have to fix that i'm thinking either i'll fix it in this location uh, or i'll fix it um, you know after that in between the window and the uh, wardrobe so that is the plan so yeah let's not waste much time let me go ahead and stab the engine inside the shaolin and let's try to start it today itself So it's around 12 a.m. and I've kind of dropped the towel. Um, not much is to be done. Um, what we have done is we have actually um, put the clutch side cover, uh, talked all the bolts. I have put the kicker to see if the compression is there. As you can see, there is compression. Um, I've just fixed the front brake as of now. Um, chain is yet to be fixed so I don't want to start it right now because um, the flute is kind of stuck so if I start uh, all my neighbors will wake up and it's not a good thing to do to your neighbors in the middle of the night starting a brand new two-stroke engine <laughs> so because of which um, I'm going to postpone that to tomorrow so yeah um, that's today's video we have accomplished a lot only a little bit of it is left now like you know I have to just install the chain uh, put the clutch cover and it should be ready to ride um, 
once the bike is started then i'll finish the wiring um, nothing major to be done actually just couple of connections um, rest everything is done so yeah um, that's about it today so see you in the next video